Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixvi, you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today there will be my last no-cut video, at least for a while. After that I will return to my usual format with more short videos, with more sense in them. By the way, tell me in the comments how did you like that no cut videos series. Maybe you need more narration. Today I will be narrating a lot. Maybe less narration. Maybe you want some background music. Maybe they should be shorter or longer. I don't know. Write in the comments, please. And now let's get back to the actual footage. Today was a very hot day in St. Petersburg. It's about 30 Celsius. That's a lot for St. Petersburg. And that's a lot for me. So I had to leave my protection gear at home. I'm skating without a helmet. I'm skating without any pads. So I'm trying to skate cautiously. But anyway, I will be risking a little bit. The place where I am skating is a, a wonderful one. One of my favorite places in St. Petersburg to skate. You probably have seen it in my previous videos. I have the special video that is called Skate in Paradise. That's about that place. Also, I've spent my childhood here. I've made my first steps on inline skates here. And, you know, I really love that place. It has a long and very smooth asphalt road without any cars. And it has a very spectacular embankment where you can skate where you can just look around and enjoy the views also there are these ropes from the boats uh, that are tied to some hooks i don't know how is it called properly and i can use them to jump to slalom between them and so on there are also some small stairs that are going to the water and I've been using it to practice stair riding. For example, you can find the examples of my stair riding on them in my Fila Enerka review video. It was a long, long time ago. Today I won't be practicing stair riding because yeah, I don't have the protection and I prefer to stair ride at least in helmet and knee pads because it's always a little bit risky especially on the old and cracked stairs oops here i jumped and lost my towelie luckily that kind sunbathing lady has showed it to me and of course i appreciated that yes i have to wear a towel with me because sometimes the sweat just flowing into my eyes and I can see anything well yeah we have a submarine here but don't be afraid of it it's a museum right now unfortunately I don't like it but yeah some Russian things are looking pretty dangerous right now but this one is absolutely harmless it's a museum So I'm skating back to the road because, as always, I'm using skates for commuting purposes, not only to skate. And I will have to go further from the Vasilevsky Island. Not very fast, because, yeah, it's really, really hot today and I'm already pretty exhausted. I like to 
jump over the tropes to overstop over the tropes. It is very interesting and versatile load for an inline skater. Yes, we are going to the road. There will be no, not too much uh, road skating today because yeah, then you are exhausted, then it is hot and you are rather slowly thinking it's not a good idea to skate on the road. You have to be very, very careful and you have to see everything around you and you have to think fast. Today I'm not very ready to it and you can see I don't have a helmet. Once again, let's say about it. It's an important thing. Yeah. But anyway, a few steps on the street with the cars nearby, that will be enough for me. And now I'm going to the Blagoveshinsky bridge. Uh, this is the bridge that is one of the biggest in St. Petersburg. And it is also very spectacular, one of the beautifulest in St. Petersburg. It was called uh, the Bridge of Lieutenant Schmidt before, and now the whole embankment where I am skating is called Lieutenant Schmidt Embankment, but not that bridge. Yeah, but to get through it, I have to move through that big stone plates. There are a lot of such stone plates on the embankments of St. Petersburg. It is not very comfortable to skate on them, but it is a good training for your attention and for your proper using of the small hops and scissor position on skates. Now on the bridge. Just look at that, look at that perspective. You can see the St. Isaac Cathedral somewhere in the far. And also that beautiful seahorses here. Yeah, wonderful. But as always, bridge is a rather difficult place to skate. I'm already exhausted and I will be even more exhausted when I will get to the top of the bridge. Luckily after that there will be some downhill, but you know, downhill on bridges is also not a very easy thing to do because it is a rather narrow place and there are some pedestrians over there and you have to use some slalom and use some carving and so on and I am not very sure in my carving on such a bridges and on such a big wheels so yeah I have to be very careful here a little bit slowy but nice and controllable moves some, let's say, power parallel slide in the end. Now I can get some rest watching around me, watching the river Niva. Wonderful views, a great stairs that are going right into the river. I think I will not ever try to sterilize them because I don't want to get wet. Okay, the light is green and we can go further. I'm now almost in the center of St. Petersburg and to my left hand the most touristic district of St. Petersburg starts 
there with St. Isaac Cathedral, the Palace Square, Nevsky Prospect and all that stuff over there, but I will not go there today. I will be moving on the streets that are a little bit to the side, but they are also very spectacular and pretty popular among tourists and among those who live in St. Petersburg also. One of the very popular places for rest among the citizens is right in front of me right now. Where you can see there is a sign you are on the island and that island is called New Holland this is a great park one of the best parks in St. Petersburg unfortunately it's prohibited to skate there so I can't show it to you but if you will be in St. Petersburg someday visit New Holland it's a very nice place not a historical one it's not a museum only their walls are historical here, but yeah, it's anyway a very good place to have some rest. And now I'm again moving on that big stone plates, plates made from granite, and you can see that their condition is not very good for inline skating. So I'm moving pretty slowly. I'm pronating a lot on my big wheels, but you know I have seen the rolling review from Nick Lomax not a long time ago, and I have seen that Nick, you know, he is a real pro, but he's also a little bit pronating on his big wheels. So I think this is the thing that is inevitable on uh, big wheels. Yeah, there are some pedestrians and. I'm using the main weapon of a city skater. The main weapon of a city skater is a politeness. I'm asking people to let me go, asking very politely, and they are giving me the way. So, politeness is very important for city skating. This is a advice of that video. Okay, now I'm moving to one of the smaller bridges of St. Petersburg, a nice bridge. And in the end of that bridge is a little stairs, but I won't be stair brushing them. There are pedestrians and there is also a street with the cars after that, so I don't want to stir right right into the cars. Let's move further and yeah, I'm pretty much exhausted right now. It's very hot, but it's time for jump. Oops, I I almost fall. Yeah, I don't have the protection, so to fall won't be a great idea right now. So I'm moving further and in front of me is a great square where you can find the most famous theater in St. Petersburg or maybe in whole Russia, the theater of Russian opera and ballet. It is called the Marinsky Theater. You can see that green building and the second building that is here, the one with the glass and some marble on the walls. It is the second stage of Marinsky Theater and I will be skating near it right now. I just have to wait when all the cars will pass. I'm not very fast and I don't want to get into some accident crossing that rather wide road.
Let's wait for the green light. Yeah, now it's time. So here it is, the second stage of Marinsky Theatre. Sometimes there are even some free performances that you can visit and watch the real, real worldwide stars of opera and ballet. And there will be some interesting parts right now. Yep, under that and over that. Yeah. Some river trams are here. Not too much people are ready to respond to my waving because, yeah, they are already also exhausted in the heat and traveling on a river tram helps a little bit, but not too much. I guess this is already the end of my today's travel through the streets of St. Petersburg because I'm so exhausted right now, I'm very sweaty. And thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Write something in the comments, you know I love comments. And don't forget to click the like button, click the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Share that video with your colleagues, friends, parents and pets. And see you next time. Yeah, that's enough for me. That's enough for me.